Welcome to another Palladium accounting tutorial. This video will be focused on the price list feature within Palladium. By design, the price list feature on Palladium is aimed at assisting businesses in optimizing their pricing strategies. This goal is achieved by certain unique features that will be covered during the course of this tutorial. The setup of the price list feature on Palladium is a three-step process. Firstly, we'll create a price list. Then we'll look at assigning a price list to a specific customer. And finally, we'll address the price list functionality on a sales document, such as an invoice. Now, to create a price list, you need to go to the inventory module, scroll down, and then select on the price list icon. On this screen, this presents the existing price lists. So now, within a price list, on Palladium, you're afforded the opportunity to create multiple date ranges, all of which have their own unique pricing associated to them. Now, if we click on one of these date ranges, you're, on this screen, you're able to update your selling price. And you can do this in numerous ways. You can either make the changes on each line individually, or alternatively, you can update the pricing in bulk. You can do this to all items, or you can choose to do it based on certain categories. Now, you have two ways to increase it. You can either choose to increase, decrease, and by this given percentage. So for instance, I'm going to update it by 15%. And you can choose these changes to be based on the current fixed price, this column, or on cost, this column. So I'm going to leave it on fixed price, and this will increase by 15%. Select Calculate, and your price increases as such. And I can do that again, and again, and so forth. Furthermore, if you click on the Set Markup Percentage tab, if you tick this setting here, this will ensure that the system automatically updates your selling price at the time of stock receipt. Now I'm going to save this price list. Step 2 assigning a price list to a specific customer. To do this, you need to go to Accounts Receivable, under the Maintenance section, View Customers. Now we'll link this to Michael Myers. You go to Settings, Price List, select the drop down, there's our created price list. Step 3. We'll now address the price list functionality on a sales document. Now, if we go to a sales document, such as a sales invoice, select the customer you just linked the price list to, Michael Myers in this instance, select an inventory item. Now, the price that appears is the price belonging to the price list we created. It takes into account the customer we linked it to, and it also takes into account the date of entry. Now, as you ought to recall, we had two day ranges linked to this price list. So if I change the date of entry to December 2015, this price ought to be changed accordingly. And there we go, the price has changed. Furthermore, on Palladium, if you want to see the price of this item on this day linked to other created price lists, all you need to do is select this tab here. And this is the price of this item linked to other price lists. And this will also change accordingly depending on the date of entry. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching the video and to show our gratitude, please make a note of the discount code provided on the screen now, which will entitle you to a 5% discount of your next Palladium purchase. If you have any further questions regarding this tutorial, please contact us on the details provided. Thanks for watching and bye for now.